okay. Don't hit anything. All right, we're good. Getting out of this car when I'm old is gonna suck. Okay, welcome back to another YouTube video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna be doing a Burke Technology High Flow Cat to match up with my new Mugen Titanium Exhaust. Um, I'm doing this mainly because I'm bored and we want to be not California compliant. So we're just gonna have some fun today. Should be a quick, easy install and I'm gonna walk you guys through the process. So this is a Burke Technology High Flow Cat. It is the 70 millimeter version. And uh, it comes with this obviously, and a new gasket and new hardware that mounts up to the cat back exhaust. Uh, it does look a lot lighter than the OEM cat and uh, it should flow significantly better. This shouldn't take us too long, but we say that every single time we do an install, we'll see. First, we're gonna remove this O2 sensor here and then we're gonna try to tackle these very old bolts back here. These are the ones I'm most worried about. Uh, we did have issues when we removed the catback exhaust initially, but uh, and these are the new ones. These should be fine because they're mated to the, the new Mugen exhaust. So, all right, we're gonna pop them off and then we'll see, see how it looks. Registering as 13 pounds. And the Burke one is six pounds. So less than half. I mean, it looks like it. It looks like it's less than half. So yeah, 13 pounds, six pounds. Look at that difference there. Everything else is about the same. And uh, so the cool thing is when you factor in the weight savings, of the Mugen exhaust and the, the new cat, we're looking at, I think close to 30, 32 pounds total weight savings from the OEM exhaust. So that's pretty cool to me. Okay, let's get this one in, let's do it. Okay, so I'm just tightening everything up, snugging everything up. Got that on side guide. Right here, it's good to know if you're taking off the O2 sensor, just pop it off from this clip right here. It connects right here. And uh, that will help you get enough slack on the wire in order to loosen it and tighten it. So we're just gonna put that back together and then we'll start her up. That was a very successful install, I would say. And uh, now we're just gonna go for a little real world test drive. Okay, we made a quick pit stop because I wanted to add the mic by the exhaust. So hopefully you guys can hear me.
I don't know. It's tough, man. But Dino says that it feels faster. Just having the engine breathe the way it's breathing now, it, it does feel like it has a little bit more torque. Again, it's really hard to tell without actually having it on a dyno. But the fun factor is way up. I'll say that much. Uh, I think that's going to be it for today's install. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up on IG. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're all going to make it, baby. We're all going to make it. All right, take care.